Good morning, guys. I know it looks like uh, any like evening setup with all the fairy lights and it's pretty dark, but it's actually morning. It's almost 9 a.m. and sorry. And last night I woke up like once, so it was a good night. And now I am, I took my pills and now I'm setting up my infusion. And Chris, I don't know when I will be able to like nibble on something again. Like food, um, I will do the infusion with the good stuff in it, rather than just like fluid. So do that, put in one of these, and yeah, hope for the best. Um, um, yeah, so. Today, I'm gonna go to the hospital, to the emergency room, and we will see if I'm gonna stay or if I will go back home. Um, girl! And, yeah. If they do something, if they can do something this, like, this weekend, I'm gonna stay, and if not, I'm gonna go back home and go back in on Monday. But I will go back in on Monday on my own, because my mom is back to work on Monday. So, yeah, we will see how everything goes. And... I kind of hope that if I'm early enough today that they can just do the gastroscopy and, you know, do it, tell me if there is something or not and then go back home, you know, like, just get it over with. But, I don't know. Maybe they will want me to stay a night and do it tomorrow or whatever, but yeah. We will see. We will see, we will see. I'm just hoping, you know. I really like sleeping in my own bed, like probably everyone, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. No one likes to stay in the hospital and... Uh, at that hospital, do you have like rooms where are there are always three people in there, like patients, and I just I'm I'm a little bit really I I kind of like things to be quiet when I'm trying to fall asleep and not someone snoring or whatever and. I don't like the smell of the hospital and all of that, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I really hope I can go back home today, but if not, I yeah, I will have some stuff because I'm gonna pack a bag before we go. Oh damn it! I cut myself again. What's wrong with these? I don't like them. I don't like them. It's always like this little piece right there that's not coming off when you break them. So that's just great. I cut myself yesterday and it's just... And this time I even used one of those so I do, won't cut myself but it happened anyway. <laughs> so sad. But yeah. Okay, let's do this. My day is going to look like, like my, my morning will be running fluids and I won't try to eat anything today, this morning. I mean I didn't eat 
try to eat something in the morning for like two weeks now so because I was not feeling good but with those I kind of do feel like I could try but I won't because for the gastroscopy you have to be like you have to have an empty stomach kind of so eight hours before um, before they do that before the gastroscopy you have to be like empty stomach eight hours before that so we will see but damn it this is kind of deep but yeah so <clears throat> doing fluids and after that, I will pack a bag. After that, I will take a shower. And after that, we will see. Maybe I will edit yesterday's vlog. I hope I will have the time. Like, you know, I really hope so. Or I could actually try to do that while my infusion is running. Because I don't have a needle in my hand, I have a catheter. I think I will try that. That's a good idea, right? I think so. Okay. No. So, I will talk to you guys later. I will try to keep you updated. I will not take my camera with me into the hospital because I just don't feel comfy with having something like um, expensive with me besides my phone. Uh, and this camera is like dream come true and all of that so I really don't want to you know challenge my luck so this camera will definitely stay here but I will have my phone so if I can I will vlog with my phone so keep you updated keep you posted and I'm gonna see you later and yeah I will probably show you what I packed or what I'm packing. So, yeah, see you soon. See you soon. I'm still waiting for someone to um, take the catheters out of my arm and um, I'm not sure I need like any paperwork but I'm going home again today and yeah I will tell you guys later um, about all of that but yeah it's like 4 p.m. now and I have waited for almost another hour and now where no one showed up and yeah I'm just not in a good place with my pain and from fibro and it's just not the best situation to be in good evening guys as you can see I'm back home and wait there you go I'm back home and basically what happened was that of course they don't do gastroscopies on the weekend um, they gave me something for my stomach to you know like cool down a bit and it actually helped it did burn like hell when the infusion was running because um, the nurse that gave me an IV like the catheter you can see it's kind of bluish um, she went in right here not there and uh, right there and um, it was the smallest they had and I really have amazing veins and she still wasn't able to place it correctly it 
heard from start to finish, from the second she tried to place it till the moment it was pulled out. Um, but yeah, so they gave me something, they checked my blood, it was clear, they... Or wait, yeah. Um, the doctor did an ultrasound on my intestines, like everything she was able to see, um, she checked out. The problem was she couldn't see my stomach, but that's not like, unlikely. It's only very rarely that you can actually see it on an ultrasound. But yeah, she said everything is fine with my intestines, um, at least on the ultrasound. My blood was okay and she didn't really find anything, so she said, okay, I can keep you here. And, and next week you will get the gastroscopy. And I was like, okay, is it sure? that I will have it on Monday because she said like on Monday and I, she was like no it's not because um, it's not for sure that I would have had that I would have had that um, um, that gee, I can't really think anymore um, they wouldn't have looked at it, probably. She said like, yeah, well, it's not sure, it can, you know, the plan is full and emergencies are placed in that are coming over the weekend, wherever somehow they can fit them, somehow. So I was like, okay, so I have an appointment fix at Thursday, talking to someone um, to talking to NGI who would do the procedure, the gastroscopy, like um, outpatient, I wouldn't have to be inpatient, but it's just like you know, we will just talk on Thursday. But in the end, I said, okay, um, if it was if it really were just like just this, just my stomach and the problems I'm having like right now it would be only that i would stay but looking at my overall situation and the state i'm at i'm in at the moment or overall for some time now with fibro it wouldn't have been it wouldn't be the smart decision for me to stay so she said okay um you, she was like, okay, hmm, talk to another doctor and yeah, we talked a little bit back and forth and in the end she said, okay, you are going to that appointment on Thursday and if something else should happen, if I should have be like in a very, very bad state all of a sudden and she said, come back and just come back and I was like, okay, I will do. So yeah. It wasn't really, you know, nothing besides the fact that they couldn't do like um, the gastroscopy. I found out that my blood was okay. It's not something caused by anything that's wrong with my blood, like basic um, numbers. Um, my intestines seem to be fine. Um, stomach. You know, she was like, okay, because we can't find anything, da da da. It is most likely, she said, it was like probably 100% something that's wrong with your stomach. So yeah, um, I'm kind of a little bit relieved that she wasn't able to find something with my intestines or blood or whatever. So that's a good thing. Of course, it would have been nice to know what it is and, would, you know, start treating it, but that's the way it is. Um, I'm feeling okay, actually. I the infusion they gave me with that medication actually helped, and I'm not like super nauseous anymore. And I actually was able to eat something, like not a big amount, and um, 
I drank something as well and yes I got stomach aches but not in, to an extent where I was like oh my god just rip it out of me I don't know whatever but yeah so yeah I'm back home I did do an, a second infusion because I was on a go all day long and I didn't try to eat or drink a lot in the morning because I didn't know if they would do do the procedure today or not so yeah but yeah I'm feeling better now and yeah my mind is a bit settled my body is okay and the only thing that's really that I'm really struggling with right now is my fibro this whole ER thing was not good at all for my fibro like sitting there waiting and then like being in a very cold ER area and sailing lying down but not really and all of that it was just my body is pretty me it's pretty mad to be quite honest my back hurts a lot and the rest of me as well so yeah just wanted to check in with you and today's vlog and probably going to bed right now it's like 8 p.m and yeah that's my time of today and i'm pretty tired and exhausted and in a lot of pain so i will give this a try i hope you guys are okay um and yeah one day at a time you guys one day at a time so i would say some good stuff happened today, some bad stuff happened today. But overall, I'm okay and yeah. Hope you had a quiet and nice Saturday. Um, and of course I hope you are going to have, you will have a great Sunday, but yeah. That's it from me for today. I am saying good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Remember to keep on fighting and I see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>